Hey, how's it going? Today is once again boss fighting day. Go for the dragon <laughs> one more time. It is a game of version, but we had some problems with the mammoths in the last video. Turns out our UD did not want to go in, kind of caused us some problems. And I think it's just the fur on the mammoths are super flammable. That's that's what I'm going with, man. That's what I'm going with that caused all more problems. So, taking in the UD. We are taking in the UD. You hear me? You are going in the boss fight this time. We're also taking in 19 of the Therys. Now, I thought about go ahead and getting one of the healing pigs, but if we can't do this one without a healing pig, then we're not going to be able to do the beta or the alpha. So, we'll see how it goes, man. So, these are all the Therys that we kind of got raised up in the last video. Quite a few different color patterns, but they are all the same stats for the most part. Some of them have some different stamina and weight, but that's not really an issue. We've got health at 30,000. Kind of put a little bit more into health on these just to try to keep them alive some. Again, that burn damage, it's no joke, man. And the saddle, which are primitive, has no effect on that. Their damage is up to 668%, so it should be fine, man. We do got a good mix of the male and females, so they should have the mate bonus as well on top of the UD bonus. The UD better come in. I'm just saying, man, it's kind of kind of everything's re like relying on the UD for the boosting, man. As far as gear, I'm, I'm kind of not sure what to take in for gear. I thought about just going in our our cloth armor, but we do have the pterodons and demorphodons. Let's see what we have real quick before we head out. We do have some flak. I mean, we could take the primitive flak. It'll help out a little bit. Let's at least do the pants. I'm not going to paint it. No real point in it. We'll do the chest piece. We got some very, very good gloves. And then Ormus and Is, a helmet and some feet. I know we got the primitive ones. Let's double check over here. We got some that's already repaired. And we just need a helmet. Kind of sucks because I haven't found any more helmets yet that were not primitive. And we lost it in the last boss fight. Should have left it here and took it in some primitive, but I mean, it's fine, man. It's fine, dude. We'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Let's do this. And this is not repaired. Neither are these. Not that it's probably going to matter, but let's give ourselves the best chance that we can, man. All right, so let's leave all this here. I think for the most part we're set. Should we take the shotgun? Let's leave our our tools, if anything. And I think we'll be okay if we take the shotgun in. And then we don't need the extra cryos. I think we're good there. One water should be fine. Should we make a second canteen? I think we'll be fine, man. We'll be fine, dude. We'll be fine. Look, don't overthink it, okay? I'm worried about it happening again where we die. And I'm going to start overthinking it. Let's give ourselves around 100 on the food. And that's what we're going with. That right there. We're good, man. We're good, dude. We're good. All right, so we did the same thing as the last time. I'll put all these guys into some cryos. We'll ride over on the UD. Get them all set up. Make sure all their feet and noses are inside the platform, if possible. And should be good to go. So here's one thing, too, man. So you can kind of see how the theories are very close to each other right here. I couldn't do that with the mammoths. They were, I don't know, the hitbox seems a lot bigger on them. And it wouldn't let me get them too close to each other without pushing the other one away. So not too sure what was up with those or what has changed, but should have plenty of room on the platform for the theories and the UD, you know? And they're kind of close here, and I'd even try to pack them in too tight, you know? All right, I got a lot of these guys that throw into cryos. Kind of excited, kind of nervous at the same time, man. All right, Junior, look, man, you are going to be right in the middle, right here, nose inside, and there is no reason why you should not go in. I'm just saying, man, look, dude, you, you left us last time, okay? That whole thing is your fault. I am blaming you. Let's drop these off in here, and that should be good there, but yeah, like the theories, man, like I was saying, we should be able to get those kind of close together. They are a little bit smaller creatures than the mammoths as well. I'm glad we're not using Rex, man. Holy crap, dude. That would be, like, tough trying to get all those guys on here. Stop with the berries, dude. You guys can't be that hungry yet. Yeah, they're a lot smaller than the mammoths were. Kind of go hip to hip, and then I'll probably take and put some in between as well. That'd be fine, dude. It'd be fine. So some questions that people have been asking from the last video. One, the main one is why I was using mammoths. I, I don't like using the same creatures all the time. I like using some that... Normal people don't really use too much and it works out sometimes other times. It doesn't I mean obviously we lost the uh, <laughs> Last boss fight, but it's kind of cool man trying to use different creatures and the cookie cutter ones that everybody always uses Now I know we kind of fell back to these but 
I was gonna be using these on the beta anyways. I've used magma swords before on like the the big ape. Turned out fantastic. I've used even parasaurs before that worked out very well. But there's different creatures, man, than just the normal ones that you can use in the boss fights. And then about the count too, right? There was exactly 19 of the mammoths. I didn't have too many of those, and that's not why the UD didn't go in. It was just, I don't know, man. Whenever I was playing ASC, I had it before with all the creatures. Never had a problem. Where as long as their toes like that were inside the platform, right? The arena area, then they would go in. Doesn't matter if the top part of their body is sticking out. That's why I put the UD where I did. So haven't had that problem before. I mean, I've got like 5,000 hours in arc, and that's the first time that's happened to where the UD didn't go in. So I don't know, man. It's kind of weird, dude, but is what it is. We'll try it again, and hopefully we go in the first time. So we had an issue where we didn't spawn into the arena, even though, I mean, we started the, the boss fight. I'm hoping that doesn't happen again this time. If so, we'll just go ahead and respawn all of the artifacts in again. But kind of has me worried if it does it a second time, you know? So we'll see, man. We'll see. Couple more of these guys, we should have plenty of room getting all of them on here. Alright, man. Everybody is out on the platform. I had to run back to base. I totally forgot. I have one special object that should help us in the boss fight. You guys told me to use them, and I usually don't, but I got some veggie cakes. Now it's not too many. The <laughs> the honey is definitely an issue. I think I have enough for like two for each one. Maybe three, something like that. It's it's not very much, dude. We've got only 46 of them. I pretty much went through every single beehive I could find in the Redwoods, and I'm never doing that again. We, we gotta tame a bee. That's all there is to it, man. After this video, we have gotta tame a bee. So, let's put all these in here, clean out the inventory. I'll start off with two for each creature, and then if we have any left over, we'll go ahead and put three in their inventories. But it should help out a little bit. Now, I hardly ever use these, and I think it does what, like two or three thousand on their health whenever they eat them? Now, they shouldn't eat them now, right, because they're pretty much full? Okay, we're good. We're good. They don't last too long either, is the thing. We've got about an hour and 20 minutes, which should be fine. If we're in the boss fight for an hour, something is definitely wrong. But let me get all these in their inventory, and then we'll jump in the boss fight real quick so they don't waste these by eating them before we actually start taking damage on them, you know? Alright, so that's the last one. Kind of went all the way around the outside and ended over here. I think, for the most part, we're ready, man. Let's go ahead and eat some food. Make sure the UD is definitely inside of the radius. Don't want any more problems. Hopefully we go in the first time this time as well. And one more. Gamma, better dragon. Hopefully it's the last one too. We got so much more room back here, dude. Definitely wish we could put more of the creatures on the platform. It's like they should either have one of two things, man. Either one, have a tame limit on what you can take in, or two, have a, a size like this, right, for the platform. And then whatever you can fit, you can take in. One or the other, but not both. It's kind of wrong. Just saying. Uh, dude, I'm not looking forward to this. But again, hopefully it's the last time. I see the UD. <laughs> that is a fantastic thing. All right, guys, eat up, man. Eat up. I see you over there picking your berries. So let's do this. Let's do passive. Let's do follow me. And I think what we'll try to do is stay over here in the corner. Maybe he'll land on this little piece of area here. Now, if he lands on one of the other ones, some people asked if I stay over here, will he walk over to us? He won't. He absolutely will not. He will stay where he's at until it's time for him to get up and fly again. So it kind of sucks. But they make it to where you have to kind of cut through the lava, and you do take damage from it. That is definitely a source of damage from you. See, he used to shoot down fireballs at the start, too. Now he doesn't, as it doesn't call in the pterodons, either. Over here, buddy, over here. Plenty of room for you to land right there, man. Look at all this, all this area! And you gotta land on the other side, dude! Okay, well... Do this. Over there, guys. Over there. I'll give you some boosts. Go do your thing. Please stay alive. Please stay out of the lava. There you go, man. Take the road. Look at you, man. Smart ones. Those are the guys that'll live. Maybe. Possibly. We'll stay over here. Let's get over here on this side. Yep. Yep. Out of the flames. Want to be able to boost. Maybe we'll take some of the brunt of the damage with the UD. Keep our teams alive a little bit longer. Let's boost, man. Let's boost. Oh, we're on fire. Yep. Let's get out of the way. <laughs> We're taking a ton of damage, dude. Don't walk over there. Don't walk over there. Come over here, man. Get out of the flames, dude. Him, guys. Him. 
I hate the new pathfinding. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say it right now, dude. The new pathfinding sucks, man. Look at all of our creatures. They're trying to reach them instead of just running right up to them. They're like stuck. Like, where do we go? We can't see them. There we go. Do some damage on them, man. Speaking of damage, let's do this too. There we go. There we go. A little bit of extra DPS, man. Never hurts. Yep, reload, reload, reload. We're on fire! I can't see anything. I can't see anything but flames. Okay. Passive, passive, passive. Over here, guys, over here. Eat your snacks, man. Eat your snacks, guys. It's lunchtime. It's lunchtime for the dragon is what it is. <laughs> He's munching on all of our creatures. They don't look too bad, though, man. So I'm not exactly sure how much the veggie cakes do. I need to really look it up. I think the the Yudi's the one that looks the worst so far. Okay, there's some pterodons. Let's do aggressive. Let them take out the pterodons and the morphodons. Drink some water. Eat some food. Yep, I see you. There we go, there we go. Help me out, buddy. Help me out. It's the demorphodons, man. They actually attack me, you know? No, the flame balls. Dude, our Yudi is like super hungry, man. Give me some food, buddy. Oh, watch out, the flames! Guys, guys, go. Go over there, go over there. I'm stuck! We're gonna get hit by the flame ball, and everybody's gonna die! Oh, he's over here! Right there, guys, right there! Boost! Him! Him! Yep, the flames, the flames, the flames! Dude, I swear this one, one fairy is like all up on me. We're about to lose a Yudi. Boost and get out of the way. That's what we need to do. Boost and move out of the way. I do not want to be part of the barbecue. Let's see one more boost. He's a little over a third left. Yep, 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 yep. Stay away from you. Stop, stop boosting, stop boosting. Move, shake and bake. Yep, we're gonna lose a UD, man. Oh, dude, we're gonna lose a UD! Let's do this. Get it back out. We should be far enough away where we won't take damage from the flames. Should be! Doesn't mean we will. Yep, there we go. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. Down to about a quarter. We got a good amount of the theories left. Okay, we're starting to lose them. That's a, that's a bad thing for sure. That, that's kind of all of our DPS that starts going away whenever that happens. They still have their boosts, so we're good. I'll jump back on the UD whenever they start losing their boost. Let's just do it now. Oh man, we got like four or five left. Come on guys, come on guys. Almost, man! Reload, reload! We're stuck in a re reload animation! I should send the UD in too. Get in there, buddy, get in there! Help him out, man, help him out! I think all we have left is one UD and one Theory. Nice, dude. Nice. Oh, man. If I want to jump off in the start and use the, the shotgun, no way we could have done that. No way at all. Totally forgot we get the loot crate here for the stuff. <laughs> oh, 80 element, man. <laughs> That's it. Guys, you look terrible. I'm just saying. Somebody laid an egg, I'll tell you what. Snack for later. Let's go ahead and do that. All these saddles, you're floating. I'm just saying, it's kind of weird. Give me the saddles, grab what we can, throw them into the grinder. Ah, oh, that sucks, man. That sucks for sure, dude. They did some work, though. I'll give them that. They did some work for sure. Where is... There we go. Just grab whatever we can for the saddles, man. It's, it's expensive on the hide and stuff, right? We got, what, like three seconds? Oh, we got 40 seconds. Should be able to grab all of it. It's kind of where I wish we had the transfer tool from S+. Plus. I'll be fantastic for grabbing all this. A lot of meat and hide, but I'd rather just grind up the saddles. Wait, who had... Who was getting the rare flowers, man? That's the whole problem there. Somebody was... Yep. He was eating all the rare flowers. You know what sucks? I wasn't watching the timer, and I got overweight because I had so many rare flowers on me that I threw out a whole bunch of saddles, and I was going to go up to the tame and... Put them in his inventory, and we got out of the arena. Ah, that sucks, dude. So we've got... Quite a few saddles. Two, four, six. We got eight. 
We got 1,300 on the rare flowers. That's, <laughs> that's a good amount of rare flowers. Hey, look, we need those for the, for the bees anyways. And then, wait, how was the health on these guys? So you literally almost died. You almost died. You came very close to death. All right, well, let's do this. I'm not going to put them into the cryos because we're so close to base. Go this way, guys. Go this way. Watch, we're going to get raptored, and everybody will die right here on the, the trek back. I didn't even see what Ingram's got unlocked, man. I was just so happy to be done with the boss fight. I thought for sure we were going to die. Probably another 15 seconds or so, and we would have lost both the teams and the Yudi as well. I was going to leave the shotgun at the start, and I'm very, very glad I didn't. Because I think that's kind of what saved us, man. That extra little bit of DPS. You guys alright? Do not get your toes in the water. I'd hate to lose you to a Megalodon this late in the video. Have to figure out where we want to put the, the trophies. Now, here's the thing, man. I've been thinking. While I was over doing all of the... All the veggie cakes and doing all of the, uh... The raising up of the theories. I did all that at the other base. I think I want to move back over there. I think I want to kind of abandon this base here. Now, we're not going to rip it down. Because we might want to come back here later. But I think for right now, man, we're going to go back to the other base. So, for our trophy and stuff, we'll head over there and put it up along with the Broodmother. I don't know, man. This base is nice. But to be honest, it's like way too big. I really like the look of the small one. Is that both of you? It is. As I uh, got back over there to do our stuff, man. I like the Dino Breeding area too. It's kind of safe in there, right? Safe-ish. So let's grab... The rare flowers, it's the main thing. Put it in the refrigerator. We will be using those very, very soon. We are so overweight, holy crap. Tell you what, let's give you half. And you don't have anything I need either. I'll put all these in here. We'll jump on the pterodon, fly to the other base, and put up our stuff over there. And we'll take a look and see what ingrams we have as well, right? So rare flowers, we only got 500 as it is now. I'm not sure where they were getting them from. Maybe it was all of the... The bushes in there that they were picking, I'm guessing? I mean, you wouldn't get it from... Wouldn't get it from any of the creatures in there. I right, make sure you guys are all on passive. Hang tight, man. There's berries in the feed trough for you. You'll be fine. You, you need some food, though. Actually, you're good, man. Give me my stuff back. He's fine, dude. <laughs> He's fine. He'll heal up. Can't believe we almost lost him, too. We'll take one of the... Trophy mounts with us as well. And I'll come back and just grab all of our stuff and take with us. So, of course, I'll do that off camera. Let's put all this back on. Leave those. We're taking you. We can actually leave the element for now as well. Let's make one of the trophies. Is that done in our inventory? I think it is. It's been a while since we had to actually make one. So, paste it in wood. One of you. I think what we're going to do for the the ape is the same thing. I still want to use the theories again, I think. I don't know, man. For the beta and alpha, I was wanting to do all those before we leave this map. I don't know if we'll be able to do the beta and alpha with... Without having a bunch of mutations on our stuff. I just don't think it's going to happen. We'll leave that. And I think we have everything. I do not want to fly over there. And have to fly back. Dude, the, the jiggle, man. The jiggle. Yeah. It's like the torch. You know, the belt torch, it's just, it's a super weird thing, man. But, anyways, it is what it is, man. It's a funny feature. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. I will see you at the other base. Need to remember to check our Ingrams, too, before we, we end the video. So I need to check, too, to see if I'm playing on single-player settings or not. I thought I had it turned off. I can't remember. I might actually turn that back on, to be honest with you, because that's mainly tailored for having multiple people and stuff like that for boss fights. It might be a little bit too hard for me just to do on with one person. I have to see, man. I have to see. And then they have their, their new settings in ASA, right? You have easy, medium, and hard. Not exactly sure what that kind of changes with the gameplay, but I have mine on hard setting. So we'll have to see. I have to see, man. Might need to adjust it because I do want to be able to do through alpha on everything. If I need to change the game settings, then I need to change the game settings. That's the way that it goes. Let's put you over here. Turn off snapping. And I think with the dragon and the ape, they're small enough. Leave that guy up there because of his big little, uh, those are the, the tentacles, the fangs, the arms, the legs, what they are. But the other one should go right here pretty easy. We'll put this guy right here. 
Nice, man. Nice. Let's move you. Well, we'll leave it. Might need to move him to the other side. And we'll have to work out something with our artifacts. I want to be able to put them all out here. Now, they had some changes, too, with the recent updates. I guess some of the stuff from ASA or from ASE are from... Ooh, letters, man. There's a lot of them. From SE, from Scorched Earth. Kind of came into this pack a little bit too early. Like, they changed the way that the water intakes look, man. Looks kind of cool, man. I hope they redo a lot of this stuff like this. And then there's also some thin versions of the pillars and stuff. So, if that's the case... We might actually do a little bit of base remodeling over here whenever we move back. I want to make it just a tiny bit, I wouldn't say bigger, but we need to make a little bit more room in here for our stuff. We might not need two of these. How are we doing? We got 80 slots only. Might be able to get rid of one of the refrigerators and just keep one. And then maybe make some more outdoor space for like the fabricator. I'll try to close this in and just have this as like a, a covered opening. Put the fabricator out here maybe. I don't have to see. Have to see. If if anything, we could always expand the base this way by maybe one or two foundations. I want to keep the small look of it though. But let's set up our flag. I think we'll just do it. What do we want to do it. We don't really have an opening over there for it. We could. If we set it here and then rotate it. Wait, go back. Hold on. I wanted to go on. Yep. Right. Right there. There we go. For now, that's kind of good. And we'll figure out with the blue one. Maybe we'll put it right here where the campfire is. I don't know if we need that anymore. Kind of works, man. That kind of works, dude. All right, so before we go, I'm going to forget. Ingrams. And I just want the tech ones. So we got... Oh, we got the replicator. Well, we had that in the last one because we already beat a boss. We've got the behemoth gates and the gateway. We got the foundations. Tapiera saddle. We'll never use it. Megalodon saddle. Might use it. We got the small ceilings and the triangle ones. Triangle foundation. We got the triangle corner roof piece thing. Tech legs. Small tech teleporter. We do got that, but we don't have the generator. Maybe that's from the ape. And we got the cellar door. Behemoth one. I still need to check out the cellar doors, man. That's different, right? I don't think those were in ASC. So that's the main thing I was looking for. We should be able to put these up. And they're supposed to be like super bite size compared to the old teleporters. Now they're supposed to be a small, medium, and large. I don't know if on the small ones you can take small creatures. If so, it'd be kind of cool. We can have like one set up here at this base and one set up over there at that base. And have it easier to get around. We'll have to see, man. We'll have to see. Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. Went a lot better and worse at the same time than I thought I was going to. We almost lost it, man. We, we came very, very close <laughs> to losing again. If two things wouldn't have happened that I wasn't going to do. Last minute, I decided to make up some veggie cakes. Again, the honey is kind of what kept me from getting more of those because I had to raid like everything I saw in the Redwoods to get that. And then the shotgun. I wasn't going to take the shotgun, and I think that little bit of DPS kind of helped at the end. Seeing how we kept jumping off the UD and shooting the dragon, you know. But that flame damage is no joke, man. Definitely have to reevaluate our lives for doing the better or alpha if we decide to do that. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.